Namaste, friends. Namaste. Let me be asked for Osho songs. Here's another song from the ashram. The beauty that surrounds you, the love that surrounds you, oh, brings joy. So many of you have seen the posts about the birds making their oh, yeah. way out of the nest today. And it's so much more quiet since they're gone. It's been the last, I don't know, four or five weeks we've had the sound of them feeding and calling each other. And, and now suddenly they're gone. It's really a bit strange. But the woodpecker who has a nest just above them, he was much more vocal this this morning. I think well, it was a special morning. Yeah, it was a spe special. They were all morning. still here, but he was going really at. <laughs> it was a morning. special morning, huh? Because not only was it May the 1st. Oh, yes. It is still is. It, it is. It's, it was a new beginning. We watched from conception this miracle happen right in front of us. And we watched the, we watched the parents build the nest. We saw them build, building their nest. We saw them backwards and forwards as they were hatching the eggs. And today, when we saw the children come, the three of them, and they've been in there and we watched them being fed. And today was the big day. That today, they all one by one managed to fly out of the nest onto a nearby branch. We watched and the mother and father helping and being around and bringing some food because they c once they got on a branch they didn't want to get off and they were there for a long time Two hours know, on the same just branch. holding on the same branch so they got that far but also it was so sweet to see that the the first two went quite you know s soon after each other yeah. and the third one just uh, stayed in the back of the nest like in the last corner just like that okay. and just didn't want to go out and the mum came and fed it and kind of I don't know and after two or three hours of the others already gone, the third one finally made that same first very shaky, very wobbly kind of turbulent flight <laughs> to that first branch. Yeah. So we watched all this happen and we didn't really realize. We thought, okay, the nests are going to hang around. That nest is finished. It's derelict. They've gone. All of them gone. 
I've heard them a little bit in the distance. Yeah, so they've gone I've somewhere, you know, they're not, they don't live here anymore. Yeah. They've gone off into their world. Mom and dad and the three kids, they've gone. So it's been a beautiful journey. So we dedicate this meditation to the to the b family of birds that uh, we've been so honored to uh, experience and, and mm. accompany with all our music, the, you, all your energy that you've been sharing has gone to these birds, <laughs> you know, at least for sure. Yes. And also to Lily, who is uh, Lena's mom, who's just had a stroke today. And mm. uh, just uh, Lily, um, Lena reached out to us if we could include Lily in our prayers. And just as the birds started their new lives, we we sent prayers and and uh, thoughts and mantras Lily's way so that she may start have a new beautiful beginning and um, speedy recovery and healing. Do you want to do something else or shall we go? Let's go straight into okay. um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the uh, physiological benefits of chanting and humming, which I find so interesting. I mean, it's basically what we know and what we experience every day, and that's why we're doing it, but it's kind of nice sometimes to have it, you know, spelled out why this is on a physic physical level. So maybe most of us are aware that there, there's, there's the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system. And the parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for the rest, calm, digestive function of us. And the sympathetic is more like fight or flight. Can I just ask something? Faint, yeah. Is it just one nervous system? We have more than one. We have two. We have two nervous systems. Parasympathetic and sympathetic. Oh yeah, but we, but so just we have just two nervous systems. You know what? If you ask me and I'm doing some, I'm saying something wrong. I'm, I'm sure many of you know much, much more about this. So okay, but we're talking so about two nervous. No, no, I just want to understand for myself. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't know. <laughs> Can I just? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to take a long time. No, I'm going to be quiet now. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. But is that it's like two nervous systems? That's that's what we're talking about. Okay. I think so. Right. Oh my God! I have to just. Oh, wait one second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the <laughs> the vagus nerve is uh, part of uh, the actually the most important of three nerves that are the parasympathetic nervous system, and the vagus nerve goes really all the length of our bodies, and it affects the heart function, it affects the lung function and the digestive function. So it's a very important nerve, part of that parasympathetic nervous system that is responsible for rest, relax, restore digestive function. So when this vagus nerve is not uh, stuck or it's kind of affected in a negative way, then we can freeze in the fight and flight mode, you know, which leads us to chronic inflammation or, or you know, um, tension, uh, fatigue and all those kinds of um, un inf in, you know inflammation I already said that so basically what we want to do is activate our vagus nerve and guess what that's why I'm saying it is because chanting and singing does activate the vagus nerve and actually the vagus nerve has been neglected for many years as how important it is so only now people especially also with trauma work, somatic experiencing, and everybody's much more becoming aware of, the, of how much we need to, to strengthen, activate, and nourish our vagus nerve. And um, chanting does exactly that, singing does that, and humming does that, and especially the mm part of the humming, the when our lips are closed. And that uh, leads me to another mm. <coughs> important fact, and that is that when we when we hum, we create 15 times more nitric oxide in our in our sinus cavity than when we just breathe. And nitric oxide is um, responsible, in, it's actually in every cell, and it's responsible for, f it's a vasodilator, which means it, it, it opens the blood vessels and increases blood flow and lowers blood pressure. 
So nitric oxide is very important too. So humming also does that in that way that it through the nitric oxide in our in our uh, nasal cavity we are um, strengthening lowering blood pressure and, and strengthening our blood flow so that's why humming is so so um, mm. important by the way what I also found interesting is that the vagus nerve also gets activated by cold showers which is where Wim Hof comes in of course and uh, interesting I actually grew up with at least having cold showers after every shower when I was when I was uh, growing up after you know first you would shower warm and then cold and I really didn't like it as a kid you know who likes cold water but uh, I, I've gone back to it and I love it and it really feels incomplete now shower without it but I haven't taken the step to Wim Hof yet with just cold shower which is of course another whole nother level so uh, shall we do just humming today then? Let's just do humming today. Shall we mm -hmm. try this today, huh? So we instead of chanting the mantra arm, let's have an experiment. Let's see what it feels like to hum. And like David said, it's a it's a strong uh, practice. It's Tibetan practice, I think. But it's a strong practice. You just keep your mouths and you hum loud enough that you can hear yourself don't don't make it too quiet but at the same time you don't need to break the windows it's mm -hmm. just a, a nice feeling of your breath being put to an a sound and the and the sound is just with your lips closed so it's going to start to resonate in your body and it's a nice meditation so we will do this today instead of the mantra om, unless of course you want to chant the mantra om, uh, in which case of course you you're free. This is a suggestion to uh, experiment with the room sound, but uh, you, you don't have to do it. But whatever you do, let's see if we can continue to breathe in rhythm, because this is one of the key factors that unites us in real time. It's our breath. So. Uh, as Deva makes the breath and makes the out breath of mm, see if you can join that rhythm with her. And as she breathes in, we breathe in. And then we make the sound again. And make that sound to the very end of your breath. To the very end of your breath. And then when there's no more breath, you take a breath. But what if I don't have it? You begin again. If you take a breath and if Deva's not there, you wait. You wait, you see if you can stay in her rhythm. So we all begin to pulse in the same speed and the same rhythm. And we will we will have a nice meditation with the mm sound today. And then we will chant the Gayatri Mantra as usual. And uh, tomorrow I hope to have my guitar back. <laughs> we'll see. And uh, just before we start, I just want to give a special love to all the people who would have come to our concert in Sarasota, just like in a few hours today, oh. which would have been our first concert of the tour, oh. um, which is, uh, yeah, it is what it is. And uh, so Sarasota, we send you all our love and we come next year. in our eyes. Bringing our awareness to the sounds around us. And slowing down. Slowing down. And taking a deep breath. breath in and out of our bodies and our breath we become connected to each other across the world the rhythm of the breath and in our intentions and our silent space and our voice 
promises. Deep breath.
spine straight. Big breath. Relax your shoulders.
Actually, when we feel our bodies and we tune in, we can actually feel something in our bodies. Maybe it's the cells, maybe it's the, the blood vessels. We can feel some tingling, we can feel energy, we can feel something expanded, relaxed, alive inside the body, actually in a physical way.
there's, there's not many songs I can play on this guitar that's, that, uh, that can, can do it. So I'm waiting to get uh, my guitar back, which hopefully will be coming later in this day here. Meanwhile, I have to say thank you to my brother Michael for lending me his beautiful creature. And we've become friends over these last few days. And uh, I even wrote, uh, I need a beach on this little guy. So uh, you refined it. We refined it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to sing. I thought it's something like this. And I While the tennis tuning, I can tell you about tomorrow. We have two events tomorrow, two, two times where we're going to be chanting and singing live online and the second time will be for the an indian indian uh, yoga event online and um, it came together so fast that i actually don't remember the exact name of it and we will post it but it's uh, it's um, a lot of indian yoga teachers and kirtan uh, walas and Krishna Das and Sattviji and Radhanath Swami and it will be um, our time 8 a.m. tomorrow morning which is six hours earlier than when we're meeting here usually so uh, like uh, for Europeans it would be 4 p.m. for example for England it would be 3 p.m. And, and so on so um, going to be half an hour and uh, and then on we're gonna st it's going to be only on Facebook Facebook live on our page and then we meet again as usual uh, at this time somebody just said I think I said somebody said what do you have on your hand is that what you just said <laughs> I have a I have a tattoo which is a I have to show you this this is uh, my father's own sign and uh, we made tattoos out of it because I like this <laughs> flash tattoos. And uh, so we have my father's own sign too. <laughs> not, uh, not ink. No, no flash tattoos. I don't know how he would feel about it. This is so not like him. Like with the, although he used gold in his paintings, but but I think at this point he is happy with everything he has passed on. And actually, I had a beautiful dream just after he left his body and he looked very vibrant and young and, and like really full of like muscular and like really young and I said how come you look like this and he said since I say yes to everything I look like this and uh, I think he says even yes to the <laughs> flash tattoos with his own side on it. <laughs> This is what I resort to when I don't know what to play. The Beatles. <laughs> Until two, and then. 
then she said, it's time for bed. We sing together. And also the the reason why the humming is so powerful is because the lips somebody actually posted this as a comment that's that's how I learned it. That when the lips touch each other there's certain nerve endings that vibrate and that are connected. And the same way I've heard is just the way when we when we chant mantra, um, our t tongues they touch the roof of our mouths in very specific places again and again and that also makes a connection that is very very mm. um, healing and, and um, mm -hmm. transformative mm -hmm. so all these physiological uh, physiological uh, reasons <laughs> nice to know <laughs> as if we didn't Dave would have been a doctor if she hadn't been a mantra singer He's been a great doctor. Loka Samatha. Yeah. So see you later tomorrow, and we uh, we end with uh, Loka Samasta. Suki no Bhavantu. Loka Samasta. Suki.
Beautiful. Thank you. Namaste. 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 Namaste.